Hello there and welcome to another ship review. In today's video we're going to be looking at the Gladius 2 from Deimos Staryard or the Gladius depending on like how far you are in the game. The number just changes so it's either the Gladius or the Gladius 2 is the I think it's the slightly updated version in terms of specs. But yeah so the the Gladius like I said by Deimos Staryard it's uh, an A-class reactor so it's going to be quite fast. Crew of 2 very minimal. It's got decent shields for its like size, 440, good jump range, 23 light years. Weapon wise, laser, ballistic, and missile. Laser weaponry is quite low, but then it's this ship is kind of an entry level. So it's not gonna, you know, you're not gonna be taking down some capital ships with it. So fuel is 220, which is decent. Gets you you can pretty much jump anywhere, but you might need to make multiple jumps, depending on the distance. The hull is quite good for its size, 505. Cargo, like most uh, Deimos ships, it is quite low as this is a combat vessel. Ship uh, cost, it's cost me 70,000, but it could be upwards of 100k depending on your perks. Mine was 70 because of the uh, I have the max barter. Let's go take a look at it. I really like the the layout of this ship. It, as you can see, the it, there's a lot of emphasis on the the landing thrusters, which are VTOL, allowing it to take off. Well, all the ships in this game take off vertically, but to me, this ship seems less like a dedicated combat vessel and more like a kind of a shuttle slash troop transport slash kind of like you know like a general purpose. I think this is the smallest ship fielded by Demo Staryard. So as we go in here through the cargo bay, we have your standard Deimos cargo bay. Little ramp leading up. Not expecting much in the line of interiors as it is a small ship, but let's see. Have something you might be interested in. So straight off the bat, we're uh, greeted by a crew quarters, living quarters. We've got some beds there and a bathroom. This door at the back here leads to a very small cargo area with a docking port entrance here when you need to dock in space if we keep moving through here we get straight into the cockpit as you can see small ship there's heller it's got the standard demos cockpit single seat your crew are probably gonna like there's not a lot of room for your like your crew to actually you know operate extra stations so they're probably just sitting there which makes sense this ship, I would assume it's it's not like your dedicated combat vessel. It can do combat, but it's probably meant more for jumping between planets. Almost like a kind of a shuttle or like a dropship. At least that's my interpretation of it. As you can see from the exterior, it's, its biggest kind of aesthetics is those four uh, vertical thrusters, landing thrusters. And then it has some uh, larger kind of main thrusters on the back. So we're going to take this off. Given that it's an A-class and it's quite light, I could imagine a lot of beef from it in terms of lift. Yeah, those big engines on the side, there's no issue lifting. You could probably take this thing anywhere. And the vertical swap is helpful too. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys.